Now, in this video of HTML, we will discuss about the phrase tags. Suppose you are working on a big text on a particular HTML document and out of that, you want to emphasize some particular part, like you want to highlight a particular part differently. So, in that particular case, you can go for the phrase tags which are as here, like emphasize this em tag we, that we will use will make the italic text out of the big text. Mark text will change the background to yellow, strong will make it bolder. When you say address, it will basically come in a new line and then it will be italics. Abbreviation, if you want to show a particular text on a, uh, means a small form of any particular bigger text like TP for tutorials point that is the abbreviation and quotation tag which will actually put the text in the double quotes. So let's see how these tags will affect the output of a HTML document. So let's start the practical implementation now. Now in context of the phrase tags, I'll start working with the em tag that is emphasize tag. So in whichever text you will put this em tag that will be italics alright that will look like an italic text. So basically now in the complete paragraph I am emphasizing on these particular words. So whenever you want to make something like emphasized you can use the em tag for that. Similarly, you can use the tag mark in order to highlight some of the important text out of a paragraph. So as here you can see background of the particular color that means the background of this particular text marked will be yellow. Alright, so if you want to make some changes or if you want to highlight a particular text out of a big paragraph, you can use the mark tag and can enclose the important text between that. If you want to make the changes in the color, like it, this one is highlighted from yellow, so you can later start working on CSS which will help you out in highlighting the background of any text with the color you want. Now next tag in the phrase tag list is the strong tag. So whenever you will put the strong, the text enclosed within it will be look bolder than others. Alright, so like this one is the strong tag all right so this will help you out in highlighting in the another manner like first of all i was changing the background color of any particular text now i'm using strong to make it bolder similarly all the three tags which we have used so far like emphasized mark and strong all are actually highlighting the particular text out of a paragraph in the different manners Similarly, we do have a tag here in the list called the ABBR tag that is the abbreviated tag. All right. So basically whenever you want to use some abbreviations, you can use the ABBR tag where you will put the full form of the particular abbreviated tag text. For example, I want to say welcome to tutorials point but here rather than using tutorials point, I've used TP. So using this abbreviation tag, I will tell that TP stands for tutorials point. So let's come to the browser and see how this abbreviation tag is looking like. So here you can see there's some dotted underline between uh, beneath the TP. When I will put the mouse over it, you can see the full form of TP that is tutorials point. Now the last tag in the list which we have is the address tag. Basically this address tag is used to enclose an address between itself. So whatever text you will use between the address will be looking like this means automatically the line is broken. All right. It is coming down and in the italic form. So it is not just showing the text in the italics, but it is also breaking the line. As you can see after that, I am not using the BR tag anywhere, but as soon as this address tag is started it is coming completely in a new line so this is how you can use these phrase tags in order to decorate your html page